Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on this video. I am back. It is now 2020. So what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you about what kind of things I'm going to be working on. But first I want to talk about uh, the reason why I was gone for a while is because I got married and I went to the wedding where I was being married and on the honeymoon, which was awesome. We went to St. Lucia. We had a great time. There's some fun stories to be had. So first of all, the night of the rehearsal dinner, dad starts to make a toast to everybody. And unbeknownst to me, Rochelle had something planned that I didn't know about. And what she did in front of family and friends was whipped out her little ukulele and she played and sang a song for me in which I cried a lot and to an embarrassing degree. It was super sweet. It was probably the most touching thing um, that I've ever received and and I absolutely loved it. The ceremony was fantastic. We were up in this awesome um, like really cabinish looking um, venue up in the mountains in um, um, Lutzen, Minnesota, um, covered with snow. Unfortunately, it was extremely bad snowy weather that day, so some of the people that wanted to be there couldn't make it, but most of the people were there. We had a really good time despite how cold it was, despite all the snow, and it looked amazing, and Rochelle was absolutely stunning. Joseph, my best friend and uh, co-owner of Nerd Sloth, if you guys are familiar with all the Nerd Sloth stuff that I'm a part of, um, was my best man, and he gave an awesome speech in which he started to cry during the speech, and I cried during the speech also because we just cry about everything. We're emotional boys. We're very emotional man boys. But the reception was great. There was lots of dancing, lots of good times, lots of drinks going around. The DJ did play Baby Shark for some reason. I wasn't happy about that one. But overall, a really good time till we found out that uh, the card box uh, got robbed during the reception. And so every card in that card box was gone because someone snatched it. And, and unfortunately, the, the place we were at was not working very well with us trying to figure out what happened or resolve everything. So that's still being figured out. The police are on it. They are on the case. So that part sucked, but we did not let it really get us down. Um, we, we just were like, you know what? We're moving on. We're going to go have a good time. We are immediately leaving for the honeymoon. So, uh, we had to drive down Sunday night and stay at an Airbnb near the airport because we have a very early flight. Rochelle booked this place and I'm looking at the picture on her phone and I'm looking at this house and I'm like, it looks similar, but this doesn't look right. Something, something's off about this house. But she assured me this is the address, um, so this is this is the place. And it says, you know, punch in this code on this keypad. And we look over and we see a keypad, but it's a suspicious keypad. And that it doesn't look like one that unlocks a door. It looks like one that would give you a hide a key. So we go up and try it. And then it's uh, we're punching in this code. That code isn't opening the hide a key thing. But we're like, well, maybe it's unlocking the door. Maybe, you know, we're just mistaken and we're trying to open the door, it's not opening. And then we hear a dog bark. And then we see some lights turn on. And we see someone peeking through the blinds. And then we're like, okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. This this isn't the house. This is not the house. We were on the wrong street. Uh, we were one street over at the same house number. Big apology to whoever's house we almost broke into. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. But we got to the island of St. Lucia. It was absolutely gorgeous. We loved every minute we were there. We did stay at a Sandals Resort, Sandals Halcyon, and there's two other Sandals Resort on that island that we could um, take a shuttle back and forth between. There's uh, the Grand and then also La Talk. And gosh, everything out there was just amazing. It was, you know, all expenses paid. So like food was free, drinks were free. We got to try all kinds of cool foods that I never would have tried otherwise. Uh, we had swordfish, which is kind of like, you know, you can have swordfish other places, but my God, I'm not a fish person, um, but I, I'll try anything once. And this swordfish was amazing. And I really miss it. And I wish I had some right now. We also got to try whatever little creatures inside, the, you know, the big conch shells um, that, that, you know, you listen to the, the ocean and stuff like that. We ate that thing. That was weird. I wasn't a big fan of that one. Didn't have a lot of taste and texture is a little off. Had some really fresh octopus. 
which was delicious. It was one of the best things I had there, along with um, some smoked eel um, sushi. And that was, uh, it was a barbecued smoked eel, and that was my favorite thing we had the entire time. We had to order extra rolls of that, because my God, like, I've never put anything in my body better than that. There's a joke there somewhere. Also tried escargot for the first time, which surprisingly was delicious, but I could not get over that texture, so I would never eat it again. <laughs> But it did taste good. I'll give it that. It was kind of garlicky, which was nice. And then we also tried goat. I'm not going to recommend ever eating goat. But overall, trying everything was so much fun. We also got to do a lot of fun stuff. We got to see a lot of the island. We also took a boat out and um, kind of explored like the coast. We went to a waterfall. We went into a volcano and kind of bathed in these um like sulfur hot spring uh, mud bath things where we like covered each other with mud and stuff like that which was a lot of fun also we got to do some snorkeling and ate at a lot of fancy white glove treatment restaurants i don't know what the proper term for that is but it was just real fancy that's all i can say and yes i gained some weight uh both of us did we knew it was gonna happen and we were kind of like, you know what? This is honeymoon. This is the 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 only time we are really going to indulge this thing because we're going to another country. Um, we want to do nothing but celebrate and not stress. Didn't gain as much as I thought I would, which is great. Um, but I do have plenty of pounds I want to lose, and that's going to get me into my goals for this coming year. So I have four goals for 2020, and they will revolve around my physical health, my mental health, my financial health and a more physical health so we're going to go back to crossfit but i am not going to worry about trying to build any kind of muscle or anything like that my big thing is just to basically make sure i'm getting some exercise but my focus with my body is actually going to be preventing injury while strengthening areas of my body that are prone to injury the other physical part is going to be the food, getting into a healthy way of eating and doing it efficiently. Um, Cause I don't want to stress and spend a lot of time on cooking all these uh, super healthy meals and things like that. I'm gonna eat healthy, but I'm gonna do it in an efficient and smart way. I might have to pay a little bit of extra money to do some of that, but it is worth it if I can get time in my day back because the time factor would be the thing that keeps me from committing to something because that is almost always the reason. Mentally, lots of time to rewind and reflect. It was pointed out to me on the honeymoon that even though we are very removed, I mean physically, from, from work and um, the podcasting world and all that kind of stuff, my mind was still there quite a bit in the times where I'm relaxing and not doing anything and, and bus trips to various places like during the honeymoon in time lounging on the beach i'm making notes for stuff i'm i'm writing i am coming up with ideas i enjoy working and i like doing that kind of stuff but there's a time and place to do that and a time and place to you know let things go for a while and just be present in the situation and finally i'm going to be doing a big budget overhaul because about a year and a half ago, when I first kind of started this channel, um, I was in some debt. I did a lot of things and helped myself out quite a bit. And then I screwed it up and I spent a lot of money. And then also paying for like honeymoon and paying for the, the wedding and all kinds of stuff added a lot of debt to that. And some decisions I made were okay. Some decisions I made really kind of uh, hurt me financially. So there's a lot that I need to do there. So I'm going to be doing a lot of budgeting stuff. And I'll be talking about that stuff too because it's all part of um, being healthy. Mentally, physically, financially. That's really the trifecta to try and live a stress-free and healthy life. So there you have it. That's my goals moving into this new year of 2020. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. And I will be continuously trying to have updates uh, towards those goals and what steps we're taking and what things are working and what things aren't working. As well as random reflections and such. So uh, thanks ahead of time if you're going to follow the channel and watch these videos. I like you a lot. I think you're really cute. Don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs>